there is something that the Atman stands on. There is something that our beingness exists within. There is something that is a ground zero on which consciousness appears on. This could be the ultimate reality, which is what we have inside ourselves. When the beingness inside our inner heart merges or unites in a unification process with the ultimate absolute, with that non-existent absolute, with that which simply just is without being anything in particular, when our own beingness merges or comes into unification with true reality, then we experience and achieve that which is the ultimate state, you could say. There is something that the Atman stands on. There is something that our beingness exists within. There is something that holds and carries our beingness. There is a platform on which the soul dwells on top of. What is it that is the foundation of that which carries the soul? We could call it true self, ultimate reality. There is something that the Atman stands on. The Atman is our beingness. It's not only the soul. The Atman is our beingness. The Atman is our beingness, which means uh, also our soul, because our beingness includes the soul. The Atman is our beingness, which is the experience of who we are. And our soul is a part of this experience. The soul exists in this landscape, on this platform, on this arena. There is something that happens when the inner heart merges in unification with that which we can call ultimate reality. Then we become free. We become, we become free from that which holds us, and that which holds us is, of course, simply our attachment to the psychological self. The psychological self is actually an addiction in a way. And our addiction to consciousness is also very real. What if we see that we don't lose anything if we lose consciousness? That's the point of Nisargadatta, I, I think. What if we see that even if we lose consciousness, we don't lose anything? We are still the ground zero that we have always had inside ourselves. Actually, we cannot lose that which we are. We are that always. That which we are is a product of receiving the ultimate reality. And we can only receive ultimate reality if we let go of our identification with the psychological self. This is just a little talk on this and that regarding this topic. Thank you.